Fisher joins us live from Drake University. The debate could be the last chance for DeSantis and Haley to win over Iowa voters, Zach. Yeah, Aaron, you're exactly right. And then there were two, well, at least on the debate stage tonight as uh, former President Donald Trump hosting a town hall as well. We're, we're live here in the spin room, so we'll be live here uh, during the 10 right after the debate. Uh, so all eyes are on the two on the stage tonight, uh, former Ambassador Haley and Governor DeSantis. We got a snowy scene here at the Drake campus today, and actually it's uh, snowing more right now. The dynamic is going to be interesting on the stage as Haley and DeSantis, they've consistently gone after each other in previous debates. It's almost building as each debate went by. Ron has continued to lie because he's losing. The fact of the matter is we know from her history, Nikki will cave to those big donors when it counts. In terms of these donors that I'm are supporting me, they're just yeah. jealous. They wish that they were supporting them, but I'm not going to sit there and deny <laughs> So the intimate setting tonight, uh, just with the two candidates up there, it should have the ability to highlight some policy differences. Nikki Haley is viewed as the more moderate conservative where DeSantis has been going after former President Donald Trump, but then uh, kind of aligning with uh, some similar policies as well. So that's going to be the interesting dynamic just with the two on the stage. Like I said, we'll have live coverage after the debate coming up on the WHO 13 News at 10. Aaron. Okay, we'll look forward to that. Thanks, Zach. I know we're all looking to find out.